Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can spice up your forms in Dynamics 365. Last week, I talked about the customer 360 control and also how you can show that control on a case form. This week, I'm gonna show you how you can show the customer details in a side pane. And I'm also gonna show you how you can use the recent records control. Interested? I'll be right back right after this. So before diving into the configuration, again, I'm first gonna show you what the end result is going to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a case here. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is that recent records control. So again, you can see here, my customer 360 form that we created in the last video is now loading. And here again, right, you can see all of these data points from the account record, account name, address, etc., primary contact, etc. And then below here, this piece that you see over here, where you see blue yonder airline sample, and then the number of cases, that's the new recent records control. And I've actually tried this on opportunity records as well, and it worked for that as well. So a whole new way of visualizing those related records. Now, another thing that I'm gonna show you how to configure today is the ability to show that information on a side panel. And there's two different triggers, I almost wanna say, that we can have, right, to show those customer details on the side panel instead of on the case form, or maybe you wanna do both. That's also a possibility. So this is, the first way, which is on load. So this is gonna be an unload event. The code is already in there. The JavaScript is already in there. We just need to add the event handler here on the unload event. And then obviously we can also trigger that. Let me go ahead and change the customer here. So it could also be on customer, right? So I'm gonna select a datum corporation and that's another trigger where it just automatically opens that side pane and again, shows you the customer details uh, directly here in that side pane. All right, so let's start with the recent records control. I'm just gonna go back here to make.powerapps.com and I'm gonna go ahead and open my account table first because I'm gonna add this control to the customer 360 form that we created last week. So I'm gonna go here to forms, and I'm gonna search for my customer 360 form. Here we go. And you'll notice that last week's control obviously is still on there. So again, we're gonna add the recent records control on this form. And obviously the way that I'm adding this on the account form is the same way that we can add it to the contact form as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click here on components and I'm going to search for recent records. And if you don't see it here, you can click on more components, search for the components. And then when you find it, you put the little check mark next to it and you click add and that will make it show up here in the Power Apps form configuration window. So from here, I can just go ahead and drag this here on the form and you can see here, it's gonna allow me to select a table and a view. Now, since I want this data to be related data, right? I don't wanna show all cases. I just wanna show the cases for this customer. So I'm not gonna select anything. I'm just gonna click done because I need to actually click this show related records checkbox. And when I do that, you can see that it kind of resets the table and the default view for that. So from here, now I'm going to select my cases, right? And we wanna do that on that customer field. And it's gonna ask you, do you wanna reset the component? Yes, I do. And then what we wanna do here is pick any of those default views. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pick all cases here. 
And this is kind of showing you now what that recent cases uh, control is going to look like. Now, you probably noticed that it's still not filtering to show only cases for this particular customer, right? You can see here I have 106 cases. The reason for that is we need to do one more thing. We're going to click here on components again. We're going to click on recent records. And what we want to do is we want to bind the control header to a table column. And what we want that to be is the account name. So that's what you saw earlier. I'm just going to click on done here for a second. And then I'm going to save and publish. And while that is cooking, let me just go back here to the customer service hub. And then let me go back to my case form. So what I just did that last step that's going to decide what you will see over here. Now, since I actually tie this to the name, you're going to see here a datum corporation and then the sample stuff uh, or sorry, the number of total cases, right? This is the name of the account. If you would connect this to, let me just go back here for a second. If you would say, I am going to connect this, for example, to account text, that would be the unique ID, the GUID of that particular account record. So that's not really going to look very nice, right? So that's what that is. Then what you can do is, right, you can see here new recent records and then you have recent cases here as well. So I'm actually going to hide the label because I don't want to show that twice. Now you're probably going to ask, okay, if you said earlier you use this for opportunities, is it then going to show recent opportunities? opportunities or is it going to show still recent cases? Yes, it will actually take the name of the table that you are using for this. So then it will show recent opportunities. Pretty cool. All right. So obviously you can do the same thing for the contacts as well, right? You can do the exact same thing. The recent records connected to a table, all those steps that I just did earlier. And then you probably want to know, okay, well, how do I configure the case form, because yes, this is not on the account or contact form, but this is going to be on the case form where it's going to show those customer details in the side pane. So I'm going to show you that in a second. But before I do that, I want to show you which of the account forms and which of the contact forms it's actually going to put in that side pane, because that's not something that we can choose. So for the account, this is called the account form for customer card. So you can see that right over here, account form for customer card. I'm going to open that so you can take a look of what that exactly looks like. That has that control that we discussed last week on there, that customer 360 control. So you can see that over here. Here is the customer 360 control. And obviously you can change that uh, if you want. And then here is the recent cases control that I just showed you how we can actually add that to a form. So that's the form that's using. And if we're looking uh, for contacts, right? If we're looking for the contact data in the side pane for that customer, then it's going to show the contact form for customer card. So again, if you want to edit that, let me just go ahead and go to contact. Let me open up the contact table and the forms. And then we're going to search for the contact form for customer card. This is the form that it will automatically put in that side pane. But again, we can edit that. So there's no, uh, that's not a really, not really a big deal. All right. So now let me show you how we can enable that on the case form. So Microsoft actually already added uh, a JavaScript for this. And that's actually in 
a library that's called modern case management slash incident slash msdyn underscore modern case management so that's the library that you're going to add to the case form so i'm going to go ahead and open the case table and then i'm going to go to my case form let's just say that we want to add that also on the case to custom form we will open the form and then we will go here to events and we want to add this to unload so you can kind of see here that i have currently two event handlers so i'm going to add one and this is going to be unload right and then we need to add that library that i just mentioned because it's not here right so you're going to click here on add library and you're going to search for what i just said that modern case management slash incident slash msdyn underscore modern case management um, this is also listed on the article and the link to the article is in the description of this video so i'm going to go ahead and click on this and i'm going to add it so then you have to search for that one or select that library and then what you want to do is you actually for the function you want to enter modern case management dot modern case management library dot on customer change so i'm going to go ahead and do that make sure the pass execution context as first parameter is checked and you're going to click done so now we're going to have that side pane load when we open the case right when we open the case form or open a case now we also want that to be triggered when this customer field changes right so now i'm going to do again i'm clicking on the customer field clicking on events and this is going to be on change we should have here we go the library we just added that so that's in here we're using the same function we did before pass those execution context as first parameter i'm going to say done and i'm going to say save and publish and that is all you have to do make sure once you've done this to kind of clear the cache right when you're testing this out to make sure it's working um, but that's all that should be it i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to hit that like button also don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss a video again thanks again for watching until next time